Hey guys, it's Cassie. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate today, if you don't celebrate today, happy Friday. I know that a lot of people's plans are very different this year um, and not what we really thought that we would be doing, but I hope that you're still managing to have a lovely time wherever you are with whoever you're with, eating lots and lots of fabulous, glorious, tasty, delicious food. I'm gonna be doing what I got for Christmas. Whenever I do these every year, I give the same disclaimer because it's true. I'm always very grateful for the gifts I do get. I know that I'm, you know, in a very blessed, very, very lucky position to be getting these things. Um, these are gifts either from my parents or me, my boyfriend, or do you wanna know what? Some of these are things I bought myself, why? Because normalize giving yourself gifts um, really any time of year, because why not? Guys, I'm going to leave a link to these, if I can still find them, below. We are shoe heavy this year, so let me kick it off with a pair of shoes, shall we? So, these shoes were on my wish list earlier in the year, and I'm so glad I got them because they're so fabulous and I'm obsessed, and these are from Attico. <gasps> Look at them. Okay, Sod, who was that girl? Wizard of Oz, what was her name? <gasps> Dorothy. Sod Dorothy and her red glittery heels. Okay, it's all about the orange crystals. I am obsessed, okay? I love the fact that we have an ankle tie. The ankle tie is very long, so we could do an up the leg moment, even though I'm not really that into an up the leg moment because um, it always descends. Gravity is a thing, you know? So I just do a numerous around the ankle. Love it. Very, really great heel height. I just love, I love this little V at the front. It's very kind of like old school, vintage, old Hollywood vibes. I love these. These are just so such a great piece that just, you pop them on and it takes your outfit to a completely different place, okay? In the best way. Okay, this dress. This dress is from Mock and Mock, Mac and Mac, Match and Match. If anyone knows the pronunciation, I'd really appreciate knowing because I just say all three all the time to cover all bases. Okay, so um, <clears throat> just gonna give you a quick stand up. It is a blazer dress, obviously with all this incredible crystal detailing. You see those buttons, little pearl buttons with a little crystal there, all down the front. <sighs> I'm obsessed with this dress, okay? When I showed Ni, nee, he did say that I looked like a uh, Vegas magician. He's not wrong. Maybe I need to, to brush up on my sleight of hand skills, okay? Because this is Liberace fabulous. I hope, fingers crossed, there are more opportunities to wear stuff like this um, in 2021 because my gosh, is she ready to show up to show out? So there we go. Okay, next thing. I had been bleating on about this for months, you know it. The off-white scarf, ladies and gentlemen, knee pulled through. He heard my cries and my incessant sending him of links. So this scarf is 100% wool, but I really like the way it's been knitted or whatever because it's a really tight knit and it's really soft. It's cozy, it's reversible, you can do a black with white. It just says off-white on it in this glorious cursive script. I need to take all of these, all of these tags off, but I love that. I've spoken about this numerous times on this channel, and I'm happy to say that since I've had the pleasure of handling it in person and testing it out for myself, it is truly worth it. Sunglasses. I spoke about these in a few videos, and these are the forceful sunglasses. <laughs> Uh, good evening, sir. Wow, I just love it, okay? She's a really interesting size in that it's not like one of those like tiny, tiny little sunglasses, but they're not crazy huge as well. So although they're statementy, they're not as um, hard to style as if it was like a huge statementy visor kind of sunglass situation. Oh, what is that? A little bit of sunlight? Well, well, well. We may be in the depths of December, but she is coming out to slay. I don't expect everyone to understand these shoes. <laughs> Been looking at these shoes for years and for some reason just haven't ever pulled the trigger or whatever, and now I got them for Christmas, so now I have them. And these are the Cassidy, I think they're called the Renner boot. A wedge suede boot. Give me a legging, give me an oversized jumper, put these on, all of a sudden she's like, cozy cute, but also killing it, you know? Oh my gosh, okay. Something else that I mentioned in my Christmas wish list video, you know I've been looking at this piece for so long and I'm so glad that it was under the Christmas tree. This is the Chanel Cruise Collection necklace. Um, it's got a crystal CC and this kind of, ooh, ooh. 
What I love about this is the versatility. Okay, so she's in this glorious gold, but it's not an overly gold gold. You know, it's um, it's a subdued light gold. You can clasp this at whatever height you want. So do you want like a tiny little dangly thing or do you want like a choker situation happening at the top with these two glorious chains dropping down? I mean, just look at that. Look at the detail on those little what were we even calling those on the ends of those chains you know i can't wait to wear with a black turtleneck you know i'm i can't wait i truly cannot wait to wear this with a black turtleneck i'm obsessed i love it oh i'm going to feel fabulous wearing her and really that's what is the most important thing okay be it luxury be it not luxury if you feel mother effing fabulous wearing the piece then my gosh go off sis the level of confidence that gives you when you like feel fire incredible is it like a birthday or christmas haul um from me if it doesn't feature a little bit of a mina muadi hello green crystal lupita mules oh god i love them the shine on these sister from another mister we live i will not apologize for my obsession with crystals happening at the moment crystals in the legend apparently glitter apparently we're into glitter we're into crystals if it shines if it sparkles good evening sign me up once again i'm sorry to deliver this news to dorothy of the wizard of oz but your glittery red pumps oh they aren't killing it anymore okay i'm sorry i'm about to tap my ankles enter a different dimension and uh I don't even know how to end that sentence. I got it. I got the sodding Fendi puffer jacket in the cropped version. When I tell you, I went to the ends of the earth to find this sodding thing. I'm not gonna bore you with the end-to-end -end story, okay? But I ended up finding it brand new with all of its tags still on from Brown's Fashion. Where are all, your t all of the sodding tags still on? from Brands Fashion, complete with the receipt, never been worn, on vestiaire. It's everything I've ever wanted in a puffer jacket. She's absolutely perfect. And she's sodding reversible, okay? I guess I had to include this because although it was not planned, because um, I did not think in a million years I would be blessed with the opportunity to do this so quick, my bamboo Togo leather Birkin 25 with Palladium hardware, um, whose name is Ivy. Came just in time, but you know I had to do a dedicated video on her. I couldn't just shove her in at the end of this video to announce her to you. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I almost combust with excitement. And thank you to you guys and your amazing continued support. It means the world, whether you are new to this channel, whether you are a seasoned subscriber, I love you. We're never going to rehab. I completely just remembered that I forgot to do my intro. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.